In the last video, we saw in theory how to use a custom list adapter. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own custom adapters for your list view. First, we have a basic setup. You can see I have a layout in which I have a list view. And this list view has the built-in Android ID, which is at the rate of Android colon ID slash list. And this is the layout that we are going to use in our application. And let's expand the source folder. I also have a basic setup here. We have a book class. And this book class has two attributes. One is title, the other one is author. We also have a constructor that accepts the title and an author name as a parameter. And following the constructor, we have the getters and setters for the title and author property. And this is the Hojo that we are going to use in our project. I also have a bookstore.java here. And in this class, I have a static method, which is called getBooks. This method returns a list of books, which I have added manually. And in a real application, this list could be coming from a database, or it could also be coming from a web service. And we also have the book activity.java, which extends the list activity. Now we are going to create a layout that we will be using for our list items. Let's go ahead to the layout and right click, go to new, Android XML file, and let's type book item. So this is the layout that we're going to use for our list items. Linear layout is perfectly fine with me. Let's click on finish. And here we have the book item.xml. It has a linear layout, which is perfectly fine. Let's go ahead and drag a text view into this. And this text view is going to be the title of the book. I'm going to give this an ID called title. OK. And now I'm going to drag another text view, a smaller one. And I'm going to give, give this an ID called author. Save the layout and click on linear layout and from the layout parameters for the height we're going to select wrap content click ok and we are fine this is the layout that we're going to use for our list items let's go back to books activity.java and now we need to create a custom adapter you can create a custom adapter by extending a list adapter or its subclasses. However, most of the implementations are done in the array adapter and uh, it's really easy to extend and work with the array adapter. So let's go ahead and extend an array adapter and we're going to create an inner class that says class book adapter extends array adapter we're going to use as a book for the generic let's let's close the braces and you can see that we have to implement one of these constructors and this constructor looks good we're going to use this press enter and we have the context the text view resource id and the list of books let's go ahead and re rename this parameter to books books save this we're going to declare some attributes inside which we'll be using later in this adapter the first one is the layout inflator we need this so let's create an instance variable for that now let's assign an instance to the layout inflator the layout inflator is used to create views from your XML and since we will be creating a lot of views view instances we are going to need a layout inflator and there is a method called as layout inflator dot from and we pass in a context to acquire a layout inflator instance we are done with the constructor now let's right click 
and go to source and from the override or implement method select the get view method this is it I'm going to select it and click OK so this is the method that will be returning all the views to our list view here is where we will be inflating the XML and adding the appropriate properties from the data set and returning it to the list view let's go ahead and override this method view view is equal to layout inflator dot inflate the resource is going to be r dot layout dot book item because we're going to inflate a book item the root is null and we need to get the item that is associated with this list item we can do that by calling the get item and passing the position as a parameter I want to assign this to a book instance and I want to call this book so we have a view and we also have a book now we are going to get the books properties and assign them to the view that is what we are going to do now and uh, remember we have two text views the first one is the author text view we're going to find it by calling the view dot find view by id we're calling the find view by id method on the view instance because this view object contains the author text view that is why we need to call the find view by id method on the view object r dot id dot author let's go ahead and import this text view and we need to typecast the view from our find view by id method and next we also have the title text view I'm going to find it and r dot id dot title title comes before the author so I'm going to move this statement before the author statement so this is good now we have the reference to our text views and the third step is to assign the property of the book to these text views so title dot set text is going to be book dot get title author dot set text is going to be book dot get author so here we inflate a view from the XML and we also get the appropriate book associated with this view by calling the get item method and third we get the reference to the view objects that we require and finally we set the property of these text views using the book so the title text view gets the book's title and the author text view gets the book's author we are done and in the written statement we are going to return the view because this is the view that we have inflated and modified and in the on create statement we are going to do that we are going to say set list adapter of new book adapter the context is this and for the text view resource id we are going to pass in the layout itself but this does not have any effect on the custom adapter r dot layout dot book item and for the books we are going to get the list of books from our bookstore class which is bookstore dot get books save this let's go ahead and run the android application switching to the emulator and here we have our list adapter our custom list adapter and it works however this has one major problem which I'm going to discuss in the next video and for now we have a relief that this is working or it is it looks just as expected however this is just a quick way to do it and in the next video I'm going to show you the proper way to set up a custom list adapter see you in the next video Thank you.